A few days ago, we nickel plated parts of the BPM5 engine. It is nickel plated in order to avoid corrosion and rust forming inside the cooling jacket. Small rust particles might end up clogging the injector holes. This must of course be avoided, and hence we nickel plate the parts. For this purpose, we went to IPU, located at the Technical University of Denmark, and borrowed one of their labs for an afternoon. To ensure a strong adhesion between the steel and the nickel, the steel must be absolutely clean and oxide free. Thus most of the time in the lab is actually spent cleaning the parts. As a first step, the parts are immersed into hydrochloric acid. Afterwards, the parts are mechanically cleaned. Here they are being polished with a rotating brush. Then the parts are wet blasted in order to remove any remaining dirt and also the oxide layer. A steel wire is attached such that the parts can hang from the electrodes in the upcoming electrochemical processes. The first step is degreasing in a sodium hydroxide based anodic degreaser. It runs at a quite significant power and thus the steel wire needs a bit of water cooling. After degreasing, the pot is rinsed with water and moved to the final acid bath. To ensure the best possible adhesion of nickel to our parts, we actually deposit a thin layer of copper first. The actual thickness of the copper layer is not really important, but here you see Christian moving the anode back and forth along the part to ensure it gets a good coating. In total, we probably deposit a few hundred nanometers of, co of copper. After about 3 minutes in the cover bath, the part is now cleaned with water and moved to the nickel bath. To grow a sufficient nickel layer, the part is in the nickel bath for about 40 minutes, and this time we will grow about 10 micrometers of nickel. After 40 minutes of nickel plating, all that remains is to rinse it and dry it. Several different parts were nickel plated. Here is the manifold that distributes fuel to the cooling jacket.
The flange that holds the injector inside the engine is also nickel plated. The last part to be nickel plated is the engine tube itself. <laughs> 